Um, hello, everyone. I'm Robbie Melton, and I would like to introduce my daughter, Dr. Nicole Kendall, uh, department chair, Tennessee State University, who is standing by. Um, I'm here um, in terms of prayer. I had surgery last week, so seeing me is my first presentation up. So if I start to get a little woozy, you know I'm gonna sit down, she's gonna stand up, life is good. <laughs> All right, number two, how many have heard me present? Raise your hand. Bless your heart, okay? Uh, just in case, uh, there should be some others. I have some new stuff. I want you to take a look at me because every 30 days I'm going to have something new. You can stop me at Walmart, at the airport, and just say, hey, what's new? And I will be able to not only share with you, but show you what's new in mobilization in terms of the impact on higher education. Now, I have all the gadgets you could ever name in your life as of today. I have more coming tomorrow. <laughs> I collect gadgets or learning and teaching tools for higher education. My role as the Associate Vice Chancellor is to go where no other system has gone before. That is a strategic, proactive position for all of the things that you all have right now. Some of you have them above the table, some of you have them below the table. <laughs> and that's your mobile devices. I have your top 10 devices that will hit your campus except for one, and that's your Google Chrome, and that's on my dining room table. We have a strategic plan that whenever something new hits that TV, we know our college students will have them. So on behalf of our IT department, faculty and student services, we have teams across Tennessee, across the nation, across this planet where if something comes out and we think, uh-oh, this is going to change the way we teach and learn, we deploy immediately. Can you believe the Tennessee Board of Region, being the sixth largest in the nation, can get a PO through within 10 days? <laughs> that's a miracle. But that's part of our strategic plan. I'm also here to share with you some new innovations that you can actually see, touch, all up here, and we can say to you, hmm, you might want to investigate that. We can't share with you not to buy or to purchase, but if you see me start to pull my hair and my eyes become, you know, double, and I go, wow, that means for you to ho, ho, or you're going to be in trouble. So again, I have my daughter who will be flipping for me, and I now would like to introduce to you the Tennessee Board of Regents. And Nick, I mean, Nicole, Dr. Kendall, remember, she's my daughter. There you go. Welcome to mobilization. Welcome to all of the smartphones, tablets, and things that you don't even have a clue about. We collect mobile apps for all devices. We align them to 125 disciplines from preschool to PhD. And yes, you're seeing microscopes, telescopes coming on all of your devices, things that you wouldn't even realize that you can do with your mobile phones. Up here after the presentation, please come up. 
I have telescopes, microscope. I have all of your video. I have some things that you will even go, wow. Again, with the Tennessee Board of Regents, we have to address all subject areas, even those subject areas where you think, wow, how can this impact mobilization? On behalf of the music faculty, again, we collect all accessories. If you are a drummer, I have professional drumsticks up, up here. We also have ordered a professional violin bow where you take your iPad, put it on your shoulder, and you actually learn how to play. Again, we have paint brushes. We even have, on behalf of the technical colleges and workforce development, we have devices whereby you take your iPhone or your Android, you plug it in, and if you would like to see how much moisture you have, yes, within your skin, here is the, here's the little gadget that works, by the way, 100%, and we are now using these and piloting this little device in our technical um, beauty centers and whatever. Again, we have a strategic plan and we plan to share with you today how to lead and learn with these devices. So I just want to give you some stats. If you would give us two minutes and did you know By the way, with this presentation, you are welcome to it. mobilization has not even hit in yet in many higher education systems. Yes, your iPad can become a tool for the medical profession Yes, it can be an ultrasound. We are testing that out this fall where we take the iPhone and turn it into an ultrasound tool. So, are you all ready? Take out your learning tool right now. You do not have to hide them under the desk. Life is good. You can multitask, pull them out because we have to address all devices. So at this time, would you take out your mobile phone and just hold up so I can assess where you all are at this time and if you see me pull some hair, that's because I'm looking for an antenna. So as I go past and I'm going, oh wow, life is good, and you see me smiling, that means I have resources for you. We have 70,000 mobile apps already aligned to all of your devices. You see I kind of creep past. 
Uh, yes, we have blackberries up there too. We have the blackberry Z10, life is good. All right, those who did not hold up a hand, I'm sure you, if you have a mobile device with an antenna, you need to see me afterwards um, because we have to learn how to use that also. The only device that I can't help you with is the bag phone that you put in your car. Those things are out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would look at the latest statistics, this will give you an understanding of why they ask me here in the job we all must do. The number one activity for the use of the mobile phone is basically playing games. Yes, I'm on level 23 of Angry Birds, <laughs> but did you ever think why can't we have on those phone content where we study birds? I want you to know you will see playing games. I'm helpful that number two, they do search for information, but what about education? Ladies and gentlemen, here's what you want to know. How do we use our phones for education? It is percentage-wise, and Nicole, if you would click, 5%. How is it that we have in our hand a device that is so powerful, we can go all over the world my daughter and I were over in Africa only a couple of months ago. Many people didn't have water. Ladies and gentlemen, many people didn't have home. Everybody in here, listen up. They had mobile phones. <laughs> Help me to understand. And not only mobile phones, they had top of the line Samsung mobiles. And that's why we were over there, because I'm not here to say what, when, and why. I'm here to say whatever tool you all have, that's what we're going to use on behalf of the Tennessee Border Region to teach and learn and workforce development. So when we look at statistics like that, I want to come back to you where that 5% turns into 50%, because I'm here to share with you. People eat with their phones. Yes, I have an app that you hold over your food and it will give you the calories. I'm here to say people date with their phones. <laughs> people sleep with their phones. Oh, yeah. yeah, yes, you can see the generation gap. I'm here to share with you, we got to make a stand and we got to start using these tools for teaching and learning. So here's what I wanna share with you, what's going on in terms of mobile phones. Dr. Kendall, would you hit it? I am delighted we could share in the serenity and joy of this beautiful day as we come together to celebrate the commitment of these Excuse me, would you mind moving numbers? your enormous phone? You mean the enormously awesome galaxy? Search, one trick pony. Aren't you a little young to have an iPhone? You want to go? I sheep, copy bots. Auto correct this. <clears throat> Is there an app for that? Search karate. Karate! <laughs> I think if they knew about the Nokia Lumia, they'd stop fighting all the time? I don't know. I think they kind of like fighting. The Windows Phone Nokia Lumia 920. and Gadgets Reader's Choice Smartphone of the Year. Phone of the Year. Love that commercial. 30 days later, Phone of the Year. <laughs> yes, this is the phone. This is a better phone. This is your Windows phone. This is your HTC, and you can come up and see. On behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regents, we purchase everything. So before our campuses, 46 of them, decide that they want to purchase something in volume, we say, hold up, you don't have to buy anything. All we want you to do is try it out. You can try it out for a week, a semester, or a year. Here is your note two. This is the big boy. This is a plablet. 
What is it? It's between a phone and a tablet. This one comes with a stylus. What you need to know on behalf of education that might not matter to other people. This thing comes with a stylus. And the reason why you see me pulling on this stylus is because I have it glued in. As an educator, I teach. When I'm in that classroom, I'm teaching. I lose this stylus, it's $50. I lose ink pens every day. This is considered an ink pen to me. That means I'm out. What do we do in terms of education? We call the companies up and we ask for simple things like, can you not just put a little hole in the top of this so it can just slide out and pop back in? If you're in a classroom and you're teaching and this is your tool, that might not sound so silly. So with power of being a large system, we can go to companies and say to them, you know, it would be nice if you would consider phone, maybe with the keyboard, why? Because on behalf of higher education, we have to be concerned with ADA. All of these devices coming out, and by the way, if you have your Kindle, I have them all. By the way, here's your Nexus. Ladies and gentlemen, they are cheap, and they are cheap. <laughs> if you don't understand in between the lines, this lasted maybe four months, and then the whole thing just went green. Oh, I, I would be bald-headed on this one. <laughs> we were going to purchase over 1,000 of these. I'm here to share with you, in six months, we would have been out of $50,000. Again, this is the Nexus, and yes, we do call the company. Here's your Kindle Fire. Please know Kindle Fire. One generation, two are not ADA compliant. That means you can't use them if you are a public higher ed institution. You're in trouble. Again, we were going to purchase over 5,000 to put in all of our media center. And you better believe we had to pull them back and call that company. Yes, the new ones are at compliance. Here's your Nook. Everyone with the Nook, guess what? As of last month, Nook jumped from an e-reader over to the tablet. Why? Because of the Google Play Store. So if you have not updated your Nook, please do, because now you have a tablet as powerful as some of your other Androids. I also have for you the BlackBerry Play. Don't laugh, this is what you need to do. This was out maybe three, four years ago, then it went down, then they were selling them on eBay for $50. I'm here to share with you, update this tablet if you have it, it will blow your mind because BlackBerry has entered back in the market and now they have a smartphone, the Z10. Life is good. And let me share with you about your Samsungs and your Androids. I have a tablet here for $50. Look at me. Pull, pull. <laughs> Be very careful of all of these tablets coming out that are cheap. You're going to pay the price. But I do have here all of your Samsungs. I have your Samsung phones. And I have your new, brand new Samsung 8.1 mini tablet to fight against the iPad mini. It is very powerful. Again, in terms of the learning curve, you're going to have to take a couple of little classes to learn all of the features versus with the iPad. But moving very carefully, here is the new keyboard for those who are visually impaired. This sits right on the iPad so that those who are blind are able to touch with tactile bumps and whatever. Um, moving on very quickly due to time, I have all of your lenses. These are your lenses for your iPhone, iPad, and I have something in terms of mobilization, so get ready to go, oh wow. I have your projectors. Here's a projector right here coming off the iPhone. You put in your iPhone 
and this turns it into a projector. We'll come on in a few seconds. I also have all of your mobile projectors. I'm here to share with you, this is the Dale. Life is good. Here is something that caught us by surprise. This is the Brookstone. It hooks up to any mobile device, whether it's Android, and if you look over to the side, you'll see. And this is with lights on. This $250, $60 has lasted over a year for us. So this is something that we, again, laughed about, but purchased after testing out. Anyone with an Elmo, this is your document camera. Some of you know it as an Elmo. We use this for our biology and STEM programs. Look at me, it's a smile back there. This is $60, with stand. We piloted this one in the field, so not just in a classroom. This held up, it takes singles, video, whole nine yards in our biology labs, and it's a winner. We were able to test it, and within three months, we ordered over 3,000. So we come back with you with recommendation and they're still holding up. Very quickly, I have a couple of other items I would like to share with you. This is something that we're still testing. So I'm not gonna say yay or nay. This is called a Y-pad. What is a Y-pad? Well, Tennessee is basically rural. There's many places where we cannot get the internet. So a lot of times we will invest in a lot of technology but can't use it. This thing right here, a Y-pad, enables you to take your device, put it inside, and it will mirror, project from your iPad to the big screen without the internet without Wi-Fi, without Bluetooth. Now some of you all should be going, what? Say that one more time, Robbie. Okay, this device allows me to take that iPad and I can stand in the back and mirror and show what's on my iPad to the projector without being hooked up to the internet, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. It has its own little radio transmission or whatever, but we're testing this out because this could be an answer to many of our classrooms that have problems with IT, internet, whatever. But before you go, wow, I have another device up here from Samsung, and we just call it the Samsung dongle, $80, this allows any Samsung phone, tablet, and here it is. You can hardly see it, $80. You hook this up to any projector, H H HDMI or your Odie Bogodi projectors that 90% of us have in the classroom, and this allows, without the internet, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi to project from any of your Samsung devices. You all should be going, oh my gosh. And again, part of our plan before we deploy, we give it to IT, it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse with them. <laughs> I just go, look what I got. And they go, what is this? I go, I don't know, just see how it will work. So again, I'm going to share with you very quickly the impact of all this by sharing with you first Sesame Street. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, if it's on Sesame Street, you better get ready for higher ed. Nicole. Yes, my friends, the iPogo can do anything. Anything? Oh, yeah. If you want to comb your cat, there's an app for that. If you have to fix a flat, there's an app for that. Need a word that rhymes with that? Map, 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 map. Or a place to hang your hat? Got a chimp who likes to chat. There's an app, there's an app, there's an app for that. All right, we're going to hold right there. 
And let's look at some toddlers. And again, you'll see that this is a home video. They're not my grandkids, I wish. They're two years old. I want you to watch their interactions with the iPad. Ladies and gentlemen, they can't even talk. And then you're going to suggest a little more of what we call problem solving using the iPad. Now, take, take a look at what happens. Look at the finger action. Hello, friends. It's lunchtime. Hey, everyone. It's lunchtime. Time to eat. It's the wrong video. <laughs> we were amazed. Ladies and gentlemen, they're two years old. They can't even talk. And we're sitting here in higher education debating of the impact of mobilization. Well, let me move you to the next part due to time. And I'm going to share with you what your mobile device can do. And I'm going to have you to skip that one for and skip that one. And we're going to go. Go ahead. Go ahead and go ahead. And I think you need to go back. If you would go back to four, yes, keep going back. And I will share with you right there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's what you have in your hand. First square. Sharp. You all should be going, oh, wow, I didn't know. Or you haven't tried. Discover. Second square. Square. Square.
Ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you on behalf of our nursing programs how we were able to save lives in Tennessee. They laughed at us when we heard that you can take a blood pressure cup and hook it to your phone and go out in the field and take blood pressure. Please know we didn't just drop.